Hello, my fellow nerds, and welcome back to Scum. As always, I'm Wrath, I'm your host, and we are back. So we left off here at this little tower here. And uh, somebody gave me a comment asking about bases. And yes, you absolutely can build bases uh, on or around or incorporating existing buildings into them. There's actually a base that I passed. I kind of cut it out of the editing of the last video. But right over this hill, there actually is a base that was either raided or incomplete or otherwise uh, wasn't finished that incorporated a an existing structure, which is this one right here. There's a little hut down there that's uh, an existing like hunter's lodge, and somebody built walls around it. Uh, I actually salvaged out of it a couple of, uh, there were uh, a couple of uh, metal, improvised metal chests, which are the, the best that you can create in this game. So I absolutely grabbed those and co-opted them for my use. Uh, and I moved them out of there. But uh, what we're going to be doing today is I've decided I'm going to make a base of my own. Uh, this is a highly involved process. And I've decided that the spot that I'm going to build a base is right here. Uh, part of the reason for that is that if I, t if I build a base right here in these rocks, like right here, if I face it so that the back of the base faces that way and the entrance faces out this way, the only place somebody can stand and be able to like get a good look into my base is right there. Everywhere else, they will be facing open air. So... Uh, and anywhere that they could decide to try and set up against me, I'll have the cover of a building and walls uh, to protect me from their attention. So, not only that, but this is sort of an out-of-the-way place. Not a lot of people travel through this particular spot on the map. So, I think that it might be a reasonable place to set up a, a little bit of a base. Now, the first trick is going to be getting the platforms set up because you've got to be able to set platforms because the first thing we we're going to want to build uh, as part of our base is a hut so a little wooden cabin here now I technically can build the bigger wooden cabin but I don't want to because I don't need a larger cabin for just me so oh shit I just heard somebody in a vehicle. That was that was somebody in an ATV. Maybe I was wrong. Because aside from ATVs, this terrain is all but suicidal in a car. I'm going to go into first person here. However, there is a road nearby, so it could have been somebody on the road. Either way, I'm mostly unarmed. All right, let's get down and... sounded like that person on the ATV was behind me over here. So maybe it was somebody who had the same idea as me 
to go after the metal crates that were in the, the cabin there. So now I'm being paranoid. This game requires a lot of attention. All my just chit chatting and, uh, and whoever that was on the, the ATV just came right up on where I was. But I don't know how close they actually came. So they may not have even seen me. Is that the ATV right there? No, that's a that's like a bush or something. So the other option is it might be somebody down below me here because there is actually a cave below me. But uh, I didn't see, I tried to put up a flag before and there's nothing that's preventing me from placing it. So if somebody were below me here and had claimed that cave, then I'd know about it because they wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to place a, a claim flag if somebody else already had one in the same area. Oh, this is really not the best way to do this. drops really close. Like we could totally go for that, but I think somebody's gonna get there before us, especially since somebody just came by with an ATV. So see, there's a cave right here. I can't see in the dark, so it's no good for me. But assuming you had the time and the inclination, you could build a, a little refuge in there.
But I think I'd rather build up on the the rise up here. There's a deer over there. See, one of the nice things is this right here means that there will be animals to hunt in the area regularly because it's a it's a hunting tower. Uh, there's actually another one just down the hill here. Just uh, down that way, there's another one. And so we could easily uh, build a little, uh, have a, a regular supply of meat. So first thing I need to do, let's go ahead and crouch because I don't want to be standing up and be uh, an easy sightline target for people. But the first thing we need to do is build foundation. Uh, what is in a foundation? Uh, okay, where's my foundations? Found foundations, okay. So that takes some tools and some logs and wood and such. So let's go ahead and start by crafting that so that'll create a blueprint here that we're able to place down so the idea is we're going to place two of these uh, and we're going to angle this so that that way is the way the orientation that we want it to be in uh, let's see here so that way the second one comes over to here but let's uh let's place the first one so that it is right I need to see this a little further away here There we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we gotta get wood, lots and lots of wood. So we're gonna go ahead and cut up some logs like this one here. and fit it in there. Take the other one. Right, so we'll just go toss those in there. And now I'm going to speed up the rest of this uh, so that you don't have to watch me just... Uh, chucking away at this thing. All right, now that we have the first platform crafted, we're gonna need to snap some new ones to it. And this is not going the way I want it to. Why are you, oh, there we go. See how it snaps, it snaps together? That's exactly what I want. So now we're gonna go ahead and continue 
by gathering up some more of the materials here. Oh, we've got a leftover. Oh, that's not connected. Why is that not? Ah. See, okay, so that's when it tries to snap together, but, okay, wait, did it just try to snap? Damn it. Oh. Come on, snap into place. See, that's what it looks like when it snaps. There we go. That's that's attached. You always got to make sure that they're attached, because otherwise you won't be able to place the... Uh, the building on the foundation. Now we may have to do some uh, some clever maneuvering uh, in order to make the foundations fit into this space, especially how I'm arranging them. Uh, okay, that one disappeared. Oh, that, I cut that one up earlier. I forgot. Before I got booted for uh, a slow connection while I was uploading another video. Now, if someone were to come across us right now, we would be completely screwed. So, we have to keep that in mind. Now, one of the reasons why I'm not cutting down the trees, even though you get more logs from them, is because there's also a bunch of other extra byproducts that we would get from them that I'm not ready to deal with. Uh, specifically, there would be uh, like a, a big old thing of branches that you could use to make sticks and everything. And after a couple of trees, that's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of those hanging around. And I'd like to kind of avoid that. I gotta be careful because I thought I heard something in the background there. A lot of the time while I'm talking, I have to be really mindful of how much noise I'm making because I could drown out uh, some critical sound that I need to hear that would alert me to somebody sneaking up on me. Okay, so we pooped out a uh, MP5 magazine. Uh, yeah, that frickin' happened. Yeah, the fame bot is watching us. These things can be really annoying because they can give away your position. And that can be, like, disastrous in the middle of a fight. Alright, my axe. 
max is looking pretty bad. So I think that we're going to, after this one, we're going to go and get some more water so, so that we can, uh, so that we can, uh, make some more whetstones and repair, uh, our equipment. Top a couple more of these on. <laughs> Place that. And that. So this will give us the basic four platform. And so our house will be set facing this way. Where the only place you could look in is from up there. That should give us a pretty safe and secure setup. I think. I might try to add a little bit more at the back here, like in a little extra platform, just to extend it out. Uh, just depends on how much room I get when I put the house down. But first we need to gather up some stones and go repair our gear. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be more than enough. So now we need to go find some water. Fortunately, we're close to the dam, so that's always a good source of water. So we'll go ahead and head that way. And that'll give us a chance to pick up some other raw materials that we need for tool chests, because as you can see, I've got an improvised tool chest here that I got. Uh, there, I did scout out this area earlier, and one of the things I found that was a little bit disturbing is that there's another base up here. It's not very far away. Uh, it seems like somebody always sets up where they can see down at the dam, and it's always like the worst possible decision you could ever make. I don't know why people choose that spot for their base. It always strikes me as such a, a very poor choice. Then again, what am I saying? I, I pick that spot down there. See, it's right over there. I haven't bothered to see if it's still in one piece or not. Uh, it's been a couple of days since the last recording, but I have a feeling that it has not fared well. Uh, it looks like there's gaps in the wall, so very likely that was a puppet there that I just walked by too, so got to be careful, but it's never a good idea. Where am I? It's never a good idea to build your base within sight of a major road. And unfortunately, the, the dam and the bridge that it makes is a major road. It's one of the major crossroads that you have to go to go across this whole river here. You either have to cross here, these two, or the dam. And that's pretty much a guaranteed spot that somebody's going to come down. So if you build a base in that area, they're going to see it. Now that one's a little bit wiser. They've got it pushed further back in the woods. But people come up here looking for for bases. You know, they'll they'll drive their vehicle up here and look and see what they can find. Please don't turn and see me.
I gotta be careful because this area does spawn little uh, little zombies here. So now normally, like anybody that's going across this bridge, if your base is up there, they're gonna see it. So if you're building your base up there with the idea that you would see anybody crossing, the reverse is more true and your base is going to be seen more often by that by other people unless you have like somebody constantly on watch and then you know you'll see them as they see you not exactly a, an advantage for you We're just going to cross over here. So these mushrooms, there are these little yellow mushrooms. They're called uh, Cantharis. Uh, these little guys. These are a great one of the, the few good sources of vitamin D that you can get for eating. And as you can see, like vitamin D is something that I am seriously in lack of. So eating these will help me to boost my vitamin D. These are actually an important part of your diet. It's these or sardines that uh, make up uh, a necessary element for your diet in order to make sure that you get uh, vitamin D because otherwise you can die from vitamin D deficiency. And you won't you won't understand it. You, what'll happen is your guy will just uh, fall over at some point, and you'll be like, "What? You know, what the hell? Why did my guy just fall over dead?" Uh, and that's the reason. All right, so let's uh, let's craft a whetstone or a grinding stone, whatever you want to call it. We have to fill up our bottle. And that will refill the five of five on the water bottle. So now we can go back to crafting. We can craft five more of those. up and now all of this is also helping our our survival skill to grow up so uh, oops so as I'm crafting these you'll see my crafting will go up from 3380. We got enough to craft one more. All right, so let's repair this. Let's see, I let this thing get down really low, so I don't know if they'll let me. Yeah, I can't repair it any further. I may, I, I, I may have to replace it. Uh, that'll have to probably be on the agenda of things that I take care of. Oh. There goes somebody. Uh, 
Alright. So what I originally heard was somebody leaving, and that's them coming back. Let's, uh... So that very likely is our neighbor. Drink a little bit here. Because we gotta, we've got to make sure that we stay hydrated, uh, even as we're trying to uh, keep ourselves fed, although we are basically in the verge of starvation. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and refill the water bottle. Based on the fact that that sounded like a uh, an ATV, uh, I'm willing to bet that it was the guy that lives close to us, or somebody on their way to the uh, to the jail. Okay, nothing there. So we're running out here right now, and I really hate to do this after having two close calls with somebody on an ATV. Uh, but I'm trying to find a bolt. Okay. Perfect. Bolt and two pieces of metal. That will work for us. So that I can craft uh, another one of these when the time comes, when we when we run out of materials, or when when that runs out of uses, I'll be able to make a new one. Okay, that that'll do. That'll get us those both working decently, so we don't have to recreate those tools anytime soon. The other thing is that that person on a ATV could actually be uh, someone uh, looking for bases to raid. All of those are possible contingencies. We're going to need to get some functioning firearms at some point here if we're going to want to be able to hold anybody off because there is really nothing worse. Because the raiders, raiders will always come fully equipped with uh, good weapons, good armor. You know, they will, they will, oh, that was a pig, okay. Uh... They will they will always have an advantage against you because they're they're coming to you they come with the equipment and stuff that they need one of the best things that I can offer you in terms of uh, fending them off is use disposable equipment if you take them down grab all the stuff that they have and run it back into your base and lock it up. Now, locks don't really do that much unless you can get to uh, tier 3 locks. At that point, you've, you've got something useful. But until then, the, the, lower, the lower tier locks are fairly easy to break into. But I just heard something. Alright, my curiosity is getting the better of me. I want to go check out this other base. Okay. 
Alright, let's avoid that... that zombie. Honestly, this base is pretty well concealed back here. This looks like a raider base. Yeah, that's not good. base yep this has been raided I will take that take those take that Lots of good stuff here. Time to get out. Let's see. The problem is C4. They come up, they plant a C4 charge, they blow a hole in your base. So if they get in, there's really not that much that's going to stop them. So right now, it's a Raiders game. Because all the Raiders, they get the enough gear and stuff to do the kill boxes. They then do the kill boxes so that they can get the C4. And once they've got the C4, or the, the parts, enough parts to make the C4, they go and look for a base and raid it. So that is going to be the one problem that we're going to face that I don't see a way for us to get around. So we're going to need to Think of a defense strategy that covers for that. Okay, right, let's cut down some more. Got to watch out for any animals that might be a threat to me here. Fortunately, the fact that there's a lot of death matches going on means that a lot of the a lot of the habitual raiders are off playing raider games. They're shooting at each other. It's a good time to get around and do things is when you see a lot of people going and doing the uh the death matches because they're doing it one for fame and they're doing it two to uh, keep themselves busy because they're they're either bored or they haven't acquired 
the the necessary resources because uh, for most of these guys, there's a there's a res the respawn timer on the the various different uh, places that they can raid. So if they if they raid like a bunker or something, eat that. If they raid a bunker, there's going to be a certain amount of time before all of those places are lootable again. So, because they often find vehicles fairly quickly, they work in large groups, they'll generally clear a large number of them in short order. Uh, so people like me are left to kind of uh, pick up whatever is left over. Uh, and, you know, you get used to it early on, or you either you join one of these groups, uh, or you get used to it and you kind of do like I do and live off the grid, as it were, away from everything that they, that, you know, that, that they send out. Uh, personally, I make friends with a lot of, I've made friends with a lot of the, uh, the raider groups, or at least I try to. Don't always succeed, but, you know, I try to be relatively friendly with them, do trade with them, stuff like that. Almost all of them are always searching for uh, explosives or things relating to explosives. So building up your demolition skill and being able to uh, craft explosives or explosive components will help you in getting the raiders on your side so that they don't raid you. So I've been kind of thinking about the issue of raiders and uh, having raiders uh, take all your stuff, basically. And I kind of think, like, maybe... I might have an idea on how to uh, have some kind of solution to dealing with the the raiders and their uh, the how to deal with the C4 because it used to be the C4 you know you'd set off C4 and everything within like uh, 50 meters of it would just get in incinerated that's not the case anymore and so uh, you can now take the uh, the they reduced how much it does and it's like it, it destroys that which is directly around it so like the that size of that blast hole is probably a very good uh, example of how far the the blast will go. So I'm thinking that if we build with that in mind, that maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to confound them enough to make uh, getting into the base more costly than it's worth. Because getting uh, did we lose one? No. Uh, getting C4 is, while not difficult, it's also not easy. It takes, it takes time and it's an investment uh, so they're banking on a return in, on investment. So if you can deny them that return on investment, they will likely not see taking your base as a reasonable option. And I think that there's a couple of things we can do 
to help with that. I'm still, I'm still, I'm looking at this and I'm still wondering if maybe this is a little too far out. Like maybe we should break these down and scoot it all back a little bit. I don't know. A lot of times I end up having to go through building this uh, a dozen times. Especially in this particular area. But we shall see. I think we're going to have to get down to doing trees here soon because we're running out of uh, logs on the ground to tear up. The other thing is I'm starvation phase four. Oh man, I'm like 6k in the hole. That's not great. Okay, let's uh, eat all of that. All right, and then let's eat one bite off of this. So now we get back to work. Yeah, I'm thinking because if I put the wall right here, it's going to be clearly visible uh, over the ridge, and so anybody down there is going to see is going to be able to notice my base. <sighs> Let's tear these down. I hate to do it, but. place one off the back here. Maybe just moving it this far back would be enough. Okay, so we can't place one there. It's too, too narrow. You know what? No. I'm going to I'm going to say no on this one. So we're going to destroy this foundation as well. Okay, and destroy that one. All right, so let's try this. Let's try with the wall first. Where's the wall? Wooden wall. All right, so we want the wall to stay roughly out of sight. So kind of right there. Oops. Right there. So it would have to come across like this space here. <laughs> All right. That would make it so that from the other side of this hill, it would be difficult to spot. OK. So it would have to be beyond this that we would set up. So I need to be able to set up foundations in that way. OK, so let's do foundation. So you got to you got to put a lot of effort into this stuff. Otherwise, you just kind of waste a bunch of resources. All right, let's see here. 
Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll be able to put the other one right on top of here. And build the other one out this way here. And it should have plenty of room. And then the other one right there. And that should make for a nice little base. And then if I extend a little bit, I can make a way out here. Okay. That works for me. All right. Let's get, even though we wasted some materials, let's go ahead and get back on duty here and start pulling this all together. Adjust the height. Confirm. Our big danger right now is that we have no way to store any of our stuff, so if we get hit, we're done. Somebody somebody comes for us, we're we're pretty much SOL. Some more. More. You want some more? Alright. Cut these up. That'll make that first platform. And we can lay the other two down. And then the last one. So now one of the patch notes for the most recent thing said that they changed this. Yeah, okay. So you can't... It used to be that you could just uh, drop these up here in the vicinity and they would uh, automatically just move to an area near you. But that's not the case. It's going to take me longer to move them that way than just carrying them. So basically, there used to be a trick where you could basically walk or lightly jog and drag tons of, a, a whole bunch of logs behind you, depending on how skillful you were with it. Uh, but they have corrected that now.
fill my drink. Goes the YouTube censorship. They're all like, he showed dangleberries. Get him off. Get him off there. It cannot be allowed. We will not stand for it. So, that gives us the basic platform. So, let's build a house. if I wasn't going in the wrong direction. All right, so we want to build it so that the side with the ladder is available. There we go. Let's check this here before we start. Put, uh, nope, it needs to be destroy that. Craft again. All right, so the ladder needs to be on that side. All right. it. Alright, so this tiny, tiny little box of a house is going to be our base. So we will go ahead and fill it with the toolboxes. We need metal. We need a bunch of metal. That's going to be a problem because I don't have jack shit for metal. Shh. Crap. Fortunately, I know a couple of places where I can go to look that are nearby that may yield some. So, let's go ahead and fill the, the wood requirements on this. And then we will go and try to acquire some uh, raw materials. This little log cabin is like our first real test here of crafting. Let's see here. We're about almost halfway through grinding through survival basic to up to basic survival. Uh, and that's netted us a fair amount of fame points. you. Drop another one in there. Kind of sounds like a snowstorm storm is coming in. Kind of like how you can get a sense of the weather. thing about tiggers is tiggers are wonderful things. <laughs> Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. Yep. Got a snowstorm coming in. All the fog and craziness is gonna be joining us here real soon. See, it's starting to snow. It's 
so hopefully we'll be able to get this all done before anybody finds us. Because that's really the big deal, all right? Like, anybody can build a base, but if you can build one and secure it before anybody can find you, then you, have, you stand a much better chance overall. So it needs 14 more. All right. Let's eat two more bites off of this. Because that's enough to basically fill up my stomach. You have to be careful when you're eating that you don't, that your intestines or your stomach don't exceed like 80 or 90 percent because uh, it can cause you to either vomit if you go over your stomach or it can cause you to more importantly have diarrhea if you go over on your intestines. So that's the one you always got to be super careful about because uh, if your guy gets diarrhea or your, your guy or gal as it were, if your character gets diarrhea, they will squat down and take a poo no matter what uh, at inopportune times. They will just like take an emergency dump uh, whether they want to, whether you want them to or not. So they, it can absolutely ruin your day because like you could be running from a mech or some, uh, some freaking puppets. And then your character's like, oh, wait, 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 I got to take my pants down. And then you're dead. So it's, it's absolutely like the worst thing to have going on. Halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. I'm old. <laughs> Sorry. Now, one of the reasons why I like this place, I actually have set up a base here before on this server. Uh, but one of the reasons why I like this little spot is, again, it doesn't get a lot of traffic. It's not that people don't come here. I've, I've had uh, raiders come to my base. and uh, But it's very disadvantageous for them. So they, they look at it and they go, mm, maybe not. Because they, you know, it's, it's such a small base that they're not even sure they're going to get anything for it. And so they kind of look at it and they go, mm, is this even worth the effort? And usually I can tell them, no, it's not. Because I don't really carry that much stuff to make it worth their while. I actually use a, a different system to keep my stuff out of sight and out of mind. So it's kind of a look at my left hand so you don't see what my right hand is doing kind of thing. And the nice thing is other people can't see these blueprints, so they can't see that... I'm building a house here. I mean, it's it's clearly obvious that I will be. You know, most people would see a, a two by two platform like that and they're like, oh, somebody's either built a house there and it was destroyed or they are in the, the act of building one. So I can't expect for this to remain hidden for very long. And obviously, once I release the video, I'm gonna have anybody that has been watching the videos and who joins the server to harass my ass is going to know exactly where I'm at. So that's kind of a an annoyance. But, you know, I kind of I'm I'm kind of taking that risk putting it out there. I mean, there's always going to be trolls around no matter what. So there's really not much you can do about it. And I really do like this game, and part of this game is kind of, you know, meant to be a little bit dickish. And that sounds terrible, but 
the idea is that you're all you're all criminals. You're all you're all scumbags. That's sort of the that's why the name is as it is. You're all scum. Whether you're a little bit scum or a lot of scum doesn't matter. In the eyes of the system, you're all just scum. So you have that going for you. Yeah, and you'll you'll find that with a lot of the games that I play, whether it's this or Space Engineers or anything else, I have a little bit of an obsession with uh, efficient use of space. So when it comes to you know building a base or anything like that, I like to make sure that I'm efficiently using the space that I have in order to present the best possible usage of the area that I have. So if it's, you know, like in this case, the, oh, there's a deer nearby. That, that sound was a deer. Although I've never heard a deer actually make that, in, that sound in real life. I, but I don't know what sound they actually make in real life. So I have no clue. But, uh, you know, I try to I try to make the the space usage very small and very well defined, so that I can not have things out of control in size. Let's go look. Let's see how many branches or logs we can get out of these trees here. I can put those in the little fence, and even if I destroy it, they'll at least be out of the way. Yeah, okay, I'll probably destroy that. Uh, all right, so let's go look for the first place that I think I can get the metal that I need, which is down here. Just down this way. Ooh, that's a little steep. Uh, there's a little church just down the way here. If I'm lucky, the cars that are around it or some of the garbage inside of it will have some metal. And hopefully it will have enough metal for us to get what we need. If not, we can go back up to the dam there are several vehicles up there, and we've given it enough time that they should have uh, respawned. And I re and even if they didn't, one of the ones that we checked did have uh, some some metals in it that we could have taken, but we didn't. We really should have, but we didn't. And even after we get the building put up, that will not secure the area because we will st it won't have a front door on it. So we'll have to build a front door. And we'll also need to uh, put together... Oh, somebody put a... Is that a head on a spike? Oh, no, that's just a yield sign or a danger sign. Uh, we'll have to put... Uh, a wall around the platform. So we're going to take care of this guy here. Because again, this also helps us by helping us to That's right, get wrecked. And you had nothing. Okay. So 
So the place we're trying to get to is a church. That's just down here somewhere. I always lose... There it is. I always lose track of it. There's a, there's a different weapon that I usually prefer to carry rather than the axe. While the axe makes a good tool, uh, and actually I'm, I'm wondering if maybe I make the metal large axe. That might be my, my new go-to. But uh, I actually prefer, for the most part, the metal sword as my, my go-to melee weapon because it has uh, the benefit of having a similar reach of this axe, or a little bit better. But it also has a, uh, a one-handed grip, so it does roughly about the same damage as this axe. Well, you know, two to three hits on a zombie will bring him down. But it is one-handed, so it has a much higher attack speed. So you can lay into the zombies really quickly and and take them out. So we're gonna go ahead and check these cars here and hopefully get enough. We need eight pieces of metal total. So hopefully we'll get enough here. Nothing. Shit. More shit. We got a nail and that was it. Fuckity fuck 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 fuck. Alright, where are you? There's almost always a zombie in here. What the fuck? Oh, a good raincoat. I will take that, and I will take some better gloves. Nothing there. Search the book. Sometimes you'll find a, a pistol in the book, which is hilarious. It's like, you know, the preacher was reading the good lord. Oh, ooh, we got a crazy mask. Halloween mask. But I don't want it. Alright, so the fact that there were no zombies down here means that there's probably a bunch upstairs here. Nope. Okay, somebody's probably already been here. Nope. They're both upstairs. Are they both up here? Oh no, it's just the one. Get down. Nothing useful, but good to know. Holy water, anybody? Anybody, anybody? Okay, that was gross for the most part. Uh, let's see here. Might as well drop a bomb while I'm here. Let's see, is my guy uh, started to grow facial hair yet? Nope. Okay, I could go down here and look for some, or I could go up to the dam. I think I'm going to go down here, because we have to have metal. There's, there's no two ways about it, and I've got only so many places I can go to get it. I would pity the fool who... Oh god, did I just really say that? I pity the fool! Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. 
Ah. Uh, I would find it inordinately humorous if somebody tried to claim one of these this little shack here. Because you're just begging for trouble. I mean, it's on a major road. Somebody roll a car right up to your house. Now, like a house like this, you have the benefit that you have if you build the if you took a bu building like this as your base. The benefit you have is that they can't blow in the doors uh, with explosives because they're not destroyable. So no matter what they do, they can't destroy that door. On the downside, all you can do to secure your door at that point is a lock, which you might be like, well, a lock's a good thing, right? Not so much. Locks are uh, relatively easy to break into, especially for these guys who are practice raiders. I mean, they can, you know, the 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 whole thing that they go through the uh, the kill box in order to get the C4. Oh my god, that scared the piss out of me. <sighs> Holy shit! I think I lost like a year on my life there. They come back. Or is it just I'm coming back down to this? I'm crossing the same roads. Oh no, they were going up. So they're going away from me. What do we got here? All hunting launch here. Man, my heart rate just went through the frickin' roof. Oh my god. The other thing is uh, the sword. The other reason I like the sword is that it has a much lower uh, stamina cost. All right, let's see if we can get eight metal. That's all we're after, eight metal. You know what will happen. We're going to get in there. We're going to find a bunch of stuff that's not the metal that we need, but it's stuff that we want. And we're going to we're gonna freaking load up on a whole bunch of extra crap. I just know it. Now, chances are there won't be much of anything in this town because those raiders came up the road from here. Ooh. 40, uh, 22. It's in terrible condition, but... It's where I heard somebody around. Let's beat feet. I 
All right, all in all, not that bad. All right, we're gonna have to recover some stamina. And hopefully those guys didn't find my base. Although I doubt that they would. It's pretty steep country around there. So on the plus side, we did just acquire a rifle. It's in terrible condition and it will jam periodically. And its rate of fire will be reduced because of the, uh, the low condition. But, better than nothing. And I actually have some bullets for that, that I hid. So we can actually be able to build that base, or build that, use that gun for emergency purposes. All right. So now there's one level higher in your skills beyond advanced that you can get that's called master. I think I think it's called master. And that's uh, like you can tell what level your skills are at uh, when you look at your metabolism here. So like it says survival and it's got a percentage, but then it's got a open a fully open circle. You've got engineering that's got a half circle and a zero percent but it's going up and it shows you what the you know percentage is that's how far it is from the next quarter wedge of the pie so like when you look at rifles it's three quarter wedges and I need 10 million points before it will go up to a full filled in circle and I'll have master level you know uh, rifles Obviously, lower skills level up faster because they require less and you gain more points uh, effectively. You know, the, the, the percentage that you get per action is higher. You still gain re relatively a, a, an equal amount of points as you go up, but, you know, it is a, it is a slightly diminishing return. Like, I could sit around and grind uh, making uh, clubs out of wood and that would fulfill the necessary requirements to get my survival leveled up be boring as hell but it would do the trick Now let's go see if they found my little incomplete base. And those mushrooms I just looked at, those were the red variety, uh, similar to the yellow ones that we use for uh, vitamin D, but those ones are poisonous. Now I don't know if they've completely added all of the metabolism stuff, but poisonous mushrooms be poisonous mushrooms. So, if you take them, you're probably going to get what you deserve. They do contain a lot of vitamin D, but poisonous. Yeah. You, you, you make your decisions how you see fit, but poisonous. So hopefully my base is far enough away from where they would probably go in that truck that I don't need to worry about them finding my base. Now I don't know how many of the people who are playing on this server actively would actually watch like a, a like teeny tiny YouTuber like me so you know 
I can't imagine that it that there's too many people who will actually see this video and know me on this server and be like, I'm gonna go screw with him. Uh, most of people will just be like, mm, you know, I'll check that place on the server that I play on, whatever server you happen to play on. Uh, although I don't really think a lot of people would build in this one particular spot. Uh, and the reason for it is that, you know, as you saw, it's it there's not a lot of building room. All right, so like large groups or, or people who want to build a magnificent base or or anything like that, they'll find that the that the the terrain is too restrictive. Because the terrain is not... I'm going to tear this down because I need to put something else up in that space. Uh, the terrain is not very forgiving. So, I need to place a door. And I would prefer it to be the small door. Ah, here we go. Door frame. All right, I need to be able to place a door frame. Okay. So that'll be the doorway out. can place one teeny tiny shack. Alright, so crafting tower. Okay. That should provide something to block out possible obstacles. Cabin door. Check. All right, let's go get back to work. Now, it may look like all these trees respawned, but they haven't. It's an annoying little thing where, because we've been away, the game forgets what's gone, and that happens. But this one's still here. But... On the plus side, it means that people who come into the area, even though I've cut down all these trees, they won't see that the trees are cut down. 
Uh, it's actually one of the most interesting little uh, Do that anymore because I now have. Oh, I gotta be careful. There are wolves in the area. Because there absolutely are wolves in the game and they absolutely will sc screw your shit up really fast. fourth one go oh one above the door take that in hand okay a cozy little hut so the next thing that we absolutely have to do is we have to place down a flag I will use the yellow because I think it kind of reminds me of like a Gadsden Ah, oh, we're one short on the metal. Kerr says, just have to go out and find some more. Uh, okay. Cut that into rags. So that line that you're seeing is the flag marker. Everything within that area is under my control. So if I, uh, with that line, everything within that line, only I can build within this area, all right? Which is a really good thing because it means that nobody can build right next to my walls to uh, attack me. Now the irony is that nobody can build up here to try to take hold of my base like uh, to build like a sniping nest however they can just build it a little further back if they can find a spot there that they can build on it's an interesting little conundrum but I'm okay with it it is a good little spot so now, I need to go and get more metal. That means going to the dam. Much as I hate it. Oh shit. That was the wolves. Wolves can spawn in ones, twos, and they can just basically make your life a living frickin' hell. But I didn't see where he was. I just heard him growling. Oh, there they are. They're far enough away that they shouldn't bother me. Except for there's one over here. That's going to be a problem. So... Let's go ahead and add those two cloth items to it. We're going to pee in the corner here. Now, a lot of people say, like, if you want to get 
down to like the best meta in this game, it's to play a female character. I don't know if that's true or not. I do know that the popular meta is to play a African American female character because of the way the animations are set up and the way that the rendering is done that at night you'll have an advantage and uh, the fact that female characters squat when they pee so you'll always be ducking when you have to go to the bathroom no matter which one you do versus guys which will, who will stand up to go pee I know it's kind of a sexist thing, but I mean, I'm just repeating what people have said is the meta. I, not that I agree with it, just repeating what has been said. I think we're going to cut this episode off here. Uh, we're right at about two and a half hours or so. Uh, I'm going to cut this down to a shorter size, obviously, but uh, hopefully most of the content will remain intact. Until next time, I'm Wrath. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side.